First, our top story, a record deal, a very big deal. Choose your own adjective. American aircraft giant Boeing will sell 300 aircraft to Chinese companies. Boeing will also set up a completion center in China. The deal comes during President Xi's U.S. state visit. For more on this uh, shocking deal, Nathan King is here with all the juicy details. It's a, it's a really big deal indeed. In fact, in both uh, President Xi Jinping and Boeing alike called it a win-win for the U.S. and China. And President Xi at Boeing headquarters also hailed Boeing as a leading U.S. company that wants to invest in China. This is the flight deck of the 787. Ready for takeoff, Chinese President Xi Jinping inspects Boeing's new model of its 787 Dreamliner passenger jet. And soon, China could have lots more of them. In all, 300 Boeing aircraft have been ordered, one of the largest aircraft orders ever, worth tens of billions of dollars. And for the first time, many of those planes will go through their final manufacturing phase in China. In the first joint venture of its kind, Boeing and Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China will build an aircraft completion center in China, which will add the finishing touches to the planes and test them in Chinese airspace, part of a growing synergy between Boeing and China's aviation industry. I am happy to learn that the Chinese side and the Boeing company have reached a new agreement and Chinese airline companies have placed orders for 300 new Boeing planes. And in the meantime, China and Boeing have very close collaborations in a number of areas. Boeing's move follows its European rival Airbus, which has had a similar assembly plant in Tianjin since 2009. Airbus has also announced a second plant. This deal reflects the central importance of the Chinese market for global air manufacturers. According to Boeing, China will need more than 6,300 aircraft over the next 20 years. That reflects a recent 5% increase forecast by Boeing. And China is set to overtake the United States in total number of passengers flown by 2034, serving 1.3 billion people. President Xi, we earnestly thank you for that airplane order. This growing cooperation between China and Boeing is extending well into the future with plans for joint research into developing green aviation technologies, building and manufacturing spare parts and electronic systems. And Boeing, like Airbus, will also help China develop its own aircraft industry. Still details to be worked out. The location, for example, of the new Boeing facility in China has yet to be revealed and its size. But obviously, this is pretty historic. Boeing has never done this before in any market, and it could be a big boost for China's growing aerospace industry as well, Phil. So there's about 350 questions I have. <laughs> I only have time for two. So let's start with the first one. A lot of people, I'm sure on both sides of the Pacific, will be asking, the question is jobs. Jobs in China, also jobs, not just in, in Washington State, but you know throughout the United States, because a lot of jobs are related back to that order. Yeah, a really good question. 300 planes is a big order, right? So that's going to guarantee jobs in Washington, whatever happens. We're talking about Washington State here. But this facility uh, to be set up at a, determinate, uh, a, a place in China that we don't know yet, of course, is going to just finish these planes. It's not going to... It's a delivery center. Yeah, yeah. But, and that means, what does that mean in English? It basically means putting in the seats, the lavatories, the, the, the painting on the plane for, for the airline. So it, uh, they will also, though, test flight the airplanes as well. So there is some trepidation amongst uh, American unions uh, in Washington state, but they also see the bigger picture, which is a huge growth in orders. Now also remember that when you build a plant in China, like Airbus has done, and it's going to do two, there's lots of other industries that form around it. Uh, President Xi Jinping, in his address today, talked about all the component manufacturers, all the spare parts manufacturers that have really uh, uh, added to Boeing's supply chain, that many of them come from China. So at the moment, it's a win-win. The big question, of course, for economists is when the value chain moves up in China and China's aerospace industry becomes very competitive to Boeing and to Airbus as well. So, okay, that's, that's the other big question that everyone is going to be asking. Right. Is it going to end up being an Airbus facility where they assemble Boeing. the plane and they've also finished the plane as well? Well, I mean, you know, the market in China uh, estimated for the aerospace, civilian aerospace industry over the next two decades is a trillion dollars. So you could argue that Boeing has enough room, Airbus has enough room, and also 
a homegrown Chinese competitor. Nathan, I think you and I have to go to a, do a little plant visit and investigation <laughs> ourselves. It's so fascinating. All right, good stuff. Thank, Thank you, you very much getting us started.